that was introduced to this evil world and spaces, it went to an extent whereby um, I was introduced now to arm robbery. You know, I was introduced to arm robbery. How I was introduced to arm robbery, my friend who happened to be my co-accused, uh, I used to cut his hair every time, like you'll call me to cut his hair, you know, then he pays me something, you know. Then my sister, while she was sent to pay accounts, she saw him and other people robbing another place, you understand? Where she was paying accounts, you understand? Then she came and told me, hey, I saw your friend. You understand? Then that day or the following day, I saw him. I said, hey, no, it's still a meeting Bonnie Linda and so 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 so. Yeah. Okay, you know, it's my own Zaman or something. Yeah. I'm going to hundred trend. <laughs> Gives me a hundred trend. Yeah. So, Mali is evil. You know, with the, you need money. Like, I mean, my mind was too much of like wanting money. I, I, I was not a snitch, you know. I was just saying, Gutin, I'm a hustler too. You know, Ongzam, you understand? Then he gave me a hundred trend. Then after finishing that hundred trend, it came to my sense and said, I know. I went to him and said, tell me, man, if you have a part, you have a part. That time, uh, I'm 17, you know. I'm security somewhere. I'm going to get my flat. I'm going to get my flat. Uh, I'm an easy going, you know. So, then to an alien, it's in turn a young boy to get in cheese. I have so half or something, you know. I unkai, yeah. The first day, uh, at I say, in him chair, the inches are singing too little, yeah. Uh, man, just so violin, at I so fire, xas, yeah. I moja, xasa, a veil at I. It's another act now, you know, you need to like put yourself in order, you know, because now you're going to pull a trigger, you know, or you're going to like, so it came and then while we we're preparing, I touch and cheese and I fag. So it chose, as I said, within most of my youth, I chose, chose, I know it as I know myself. Like every corner, even somebody who is straight in Manglula, he knows me. Ute praban ban, you know. So I had to ugu ting tati plak, you know. There was boys, baby neta fula la pana splama gulo, ba ba pemi zolong ite ni kani zolong la pungit tati zolong shaya ngani ite wase plagin kune pia la. That day I don't, I never drank the black label. That day I took the black label. I shy, yeah. And the Lycia corner will have to walk like a distance. Then we walk there, you know. Sangya Nagle Shipa. The first place I robbed was a smart center, you know. We get the uh, uh, clothing. Remember, I did fraud to these shops. I was smart center, I was PGs, I was sell south, I was one man. Now when I transform, you know, to robbery. I still hit these places again, you understand? So that was the first stepping, then we hit the smart center, see two lapana, fear lapana. That time I had an afro, you know? So I was, baby Sbiza Mapucho at that time, you understand? So he just introduced that thing, and as I cut, as I know Pucho. So we get in there, Paramesu Mshin, Velangat, hey, check, one come to one side. Security, and all the Lisa Pants, you know, I jump away and I count in. Took all the man, you understand? See, I put my lap and it's my first day. I see, I put my name. I'm going to champion about leg. I say, I'm a sentence for a session. See, I barely mal. I go barad. Then, after that day, it becomes a habit. You know, we're hitting now, like each obek as a whole. I'm a camera. They started putting I'm a camera at obek in the city, in the streets because of us, because we're nowhere to be found. You understand? We're hitting all this, so even shops. 
I have to sell sales when they bring my, my phones, I'm when they introduce my phone. That time on my phone, that were there, I have on my 3110, 32, 10, 33, 10. I have 61, 10, 51, 10, I have Alcatel. You understand? There was no smartphone. You understand? I mean, I live in that era where, like, from iPhone to Kali, I have 95 watts, Motorola. Then living in the era where these phones, as corner manager, they were not there. It was only just in jail. Like my phone, I was 6110, So we'll get in, even at times, there was a voucher like an envelope, which it's a heart. Uh, 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 uh. Like it's got a scratch card. Yeah, it's like a scratch card. No, you, you, not a scratch card, no, those ones. The, the first at times was like an envelope, but in a like it's a sealed envelope, then Maui Vulaganji, then you find the numbers. You understand? So we hit these places, hit the phones, hit the money, you understand the number. So we get there, we hit phones, we hit money, took a time, you know. I remember there was a time when we hit a place I got at times worth 3,600 and something. Remember then, that was a lot of airtime. You know, I loaded it on my phone. Some of them, I sold them, you know. Like money was nothing. We'll go out and each person has got maybe 2,000 or 3,000 just to drink alcohol. Or maybe menagega. I was going even extra mile that I will go on the night and spend 5,000 rand. And those years, 5,000 rand was a lot of money. Was a lot of money because you even get like... You can get a car at that time with the 5,000 rand. So I was that person who will go to these clubs about the base and what to get colors to go, you know. So my crime level uh, grew to a level that there was even police who were involved, you understand? Beskanga now, you know. Like they will go with us, maybe off M17 with their guns. Remember that time on Poisa, they used to carry their guns. Our sevens and us, you understand? Now it's like Baz Shia M7. Before, you understand? The baby, Hambanas. So that time we'll use those uh, police uh, because they are friends of ours, you know, to like to Ukunisa, hit him, and we go hit places. So we're making a lot of money, even garages, we hit them, you know? We did so much in an extent in the short period of time and at the age of 17. And all these people when Ganga Nabo, Bebe Nabo, my 24, 25, we are There was no one of my age. All these people, Bebe Batala, Bebe Nabo, my date. You understand? So I was the youngest, but I was also a person who tend to be like a leader now to these people. Why I become a leader, even if they bring them seven and say, you're certain, but Yimo Suga Kala. As when you get in the place, I'm the one who starts. You understand? Okalaya pagami se umshin and kubene reaction, then then they will follow. You understand? Because sometimes you go with people, you get in places, you find with it, you understand? Because of maybe Panama cautions are manning about big day, maybe Lamu de Pois or in. My mean at that time I was just a lunatic child, you know. I will just get in and even Utaban Bangaki, Bonke Bazoya pants because I want what I want, you know. But then. Was the, drugs? No, not on drugs, you know. Not on drugs, uh, nothing, you know. But I was that person, Guti. Remember how I grew up and all the experiences of not having and the difficulties my family went through, the difficulties my mom had to go through, you know, to sustain us. So you find an excess and you find a way that you can squash some of these things that affect you and your family. You take advantage of it. Remember, the society is not contributing, you understand, to align. You understand some of the dance that are happening in our society. So you end up falling for anything and easy back. You understand? Good, okay, yeah, I will be able to get money fast. Then you do those things. So we did that to an extent that I was the most wanted in the city of things that are happening then. There was informers that they were tracing me, you know, 
And being the youngest and now I was the most wanted, the informers, the day I got arrested, the informer was standing at my building at the entrance and I didn't know him, didn't see him. Then we went out, he followed us, you know. When we get to the scene of crime, uh, there was already police hiding there. There was already ambulance waiting, like the whole, you know, police and they were standing there waiting for us because they were already informed, Uguti, we are coming to this place and, you know, by the informer. Uh, this person, uh, what happened, there was, there was uh, boys wh whom I grew up with. We used to play soccer together. We used to do things together. We started tasting alcohol together. So the change and the twist happens when me, I was ahead of them, that I started doing things like from fraud to armed robbery, and now a twist of change. So what happened, La Atebetlalakon, my mom's fled my mom as I grew up. She was selling I'm a cold drink Namapi. So there will be people coming and chill, taxi drivers and whatsoever. You know, Bazo Puza saw some of the conversation will listen. So Nabo in their flat, their grandmother and their mothers, they because these boys I grew up with, they were siblings, like cousins, you know, they from uh same sisters, you know, like us lo mama lo nuzala lo mtana ende lo mnyumtwa nuzalwa usiska utatwa abogan jalu abo. So they started now selling alcohol lap. E ngawebona my mom she's doing the same. Then what happens? There was a time when I was doing fraud. I invited them when I was home alone lap and flirting, and I did a party like I called. Uh, Bona and some of the boys I know from Pumalanga, baby, but they were just cool boys. We brought them and we enjoyed by alcohol. So now, I mean, in my room, there was many stashed clothes, you understand, a zincha, because when we did a fraud, these, these, uh, these, some of the clothes, we'll keep them to sell them. Some we keep them for ourselves, but they are still tact, you know, which is Sanama prize and whatsoever. So when I invite them in the house, they stole some of my clothes, you understand? At that time we were playing with the cassette music. There was no CDs that time we were playing with cassette. So they brought a um, cassette, you understand, for the party. We played it. And then when they left, they forgot Lama cassette abo. I don't know, one or two. But already my best shell, my cassette, born a seven John Chile lagim. You understand? They've stolen some of my clothes. So one day, so Bapuma Seba put who? Eh, hey, one day then, Niaba born how skipper some was less cogit, how impartial some was cogit. Yeah, never was told and over a when I'm a cassette to Asali la Pagua, yeah, Allah Shegi. You understand? They're trying to make an excuse, uh, uh, some madness. You understand? So, it led at me beating them, you understand? I beat uh, two of them, there are three. Then I met two of them, I beat them, you know? And then now it went to a family that now it became a EMP between now the two families. So as I escalated to armed robbery, it became worse now because I had a lot of money and now there was many cars coming to pick me up, you know? Uh, we do all these things, you know, like serious stuff. So these people, La Pagubo, as in Shoot Nawa Vesetang Suchual, Abandu Nabatebe Puza Lapana, it was policemen, you understand? And informers, you understand? So one of Umam Nanuabo, you understand, got to uh, get information, one of the informer, you understand, because she wanted to be part, be part of it. You understand? So that she can also end because they inform Chile to know more when I saw Lom Sevens though you told her like six thousand rand or you know, if inform our poison and munto so but I need you have to like register and be a permanent inform. So when you do that job you get paid. So 
this guy, it's like he got the information from that house about me, you understand? Because obviously, these friends of mine, they are the people who knew my chain, because we grew up together, you know? So when they seeing the changes in me and the developments, and sometimes we become careless, because sometimes, sometimes, you know? And we sometimes we speak about a certain sin. You understand? So you'll find around us some people they will be listening and to get to know it. Oh, laba ganti benzaganje good batoli man. So now you get marked by what begele umu. That is where umamunano we invited this guy to like track on us. So he did that and got the information, which I didn't know what type of information that led us that we were already trapped to the next scene, Besiaguyo. Already there was police and stuff like that. So when we get there, uh, we got to a place. The place that we were going to hit was not the place which I was arrested in. It was a next door. This place we were going to hit was a coin security, you know, these vans, you understand? So when we got there, they already took in the money and they are already in the in that truck, you understand? So me being me, stubborn as I was then, I, I just said, hey guys, I guess we are going to put next, you understand? I know not shy. So let's see shy much, it's not a coin, you know, but it's a retail, you know. Then Ganti, already these people they were around, you understand? So I didn't listen to my instincts. As we get here, I told you that the coin security says that it You understand? It was a, a wake up call of I today, but I insisted we hit this other one. So some of the guys, they ins they said, no, tonight we will move. Then they went. Then the three of us, we hit this place. We hit the place, we got the money. And when we were exiting already, by the exit, there was police. You know, there was police and we tried to hide there. There was no way to hide, trying to get out. There was no way to, uh, then, yes, there was a shootout. Uh, there was a shootout uh, whereby I end up taking off my jacket and my hat and hiding them and seeing that the exit, it's difficult as I was looking from the upper part of the building with a panda, it's bad, you know. Even if you insist to do that, it won't work, you know. So hiding the gun and the other uh, co-accused hide at his gun. But him, I don't know, he got an excess of exiting, you know. But he told me that he had another door. As we sound, it's a big door. You understand? Yeah, I exit. So you know, Tina, we got stuck inside. So when they got there, you know, when they got there, because I was the wanted. So when they got me, I surrendered and laid down, you know. They came to me and say, yeah, this is the one. You know, then they shot me. You know, they shot me. At the back, yeah, next to my spine, because the aim was to make me a cripple because I was a headache, you know, to the whatsoever, you know? So they shot me, and after they shot me, then they had to, like, drag me on the floor, throw me on the stairs, you know, hit me with a gun somewhere here on my eye. I had a, a scar somewhere. Nothing, it's just, already I'm short. I, I, it, I'm somewhere else with this short that they've done to me. The whole body is burning. It's like I need a cold, like, you can throw me with a bucket of ice. You know, that's what I needed. It was the whole focus. The rest, it doesn't matter. No, I was not crying, you know. Just, it's just that heat. Would you want a cold uh, place? You, yeah, Yashisa, like a bullet was burning. You understand? No matter, it got in and out because of the close range which they did to me, you know. Got to Ren Clinic and... Uh, Remember I said that the police, they were already there before we even committed the crime because of the informer. 
and the ambulances, they were already there waiting for us. Like they had a whole structure planned, prepared. Good. These people, this is what is going to happen. There's a possibility that there will be a shootout, you know. So ambulance must be nearby, you know, because how they portrayed me as I was wanted, you understand, good. That boy is, is young, but is lunatic, you understand. So there's possibilities of a shootout and stuff like that. Of course, with that mindset at 17 years, I was lunatic, you understand. I will agree with them, so they had to, like, bring all that. So they took me an ambulance to Rand Clinic and go to Rand Clinic. They hit me with a the light, then gone. You know, I wake up the following day. I couldn't lift my head because... I had I must I stay blessed, you know, on my stomach. Then I could not walk, so they had to like teach me how to walk like a child, you know. For the whole week, I couldn't like uh, every step, it's like because it was nearly uh, to my spine, you know. So they trained me for a week, and in that process, while I was in ICU, when they moved me from ICU to Another single word. Uh, there was a night where I felt like because I could not go to the toilet, so I, they put the pipe, you know. Uh, so there was a night I felt so irritated by this pipe. I don't know what was happening, you know. And with the heat on my head and stuff, and like a lot of things that happened within that short period of time, I felt like I lost my mind for a night the following day i went back to normal but i saw that i was losing my mind the things like i was sitting in that bed i felt like i'm driving a van you know i still recall that moment i feel like i'm driving a van and now i'm pulling like life uh, while those things are happening i'm pulling this pipe on my uh, private part that they are using for me to be able to pee on it. So I'm pulling it, I'm doing like crazy stuff because there was a lot of things that was happening because my friends, they were not friends, but the people whom I was doing all these things with, uh, they organized securities and they organized everything that they're gonna come take me, you know, from the hospital, you know, hijack and everything because we were well armed and well organized. You know? So now, um, already I've arranged with the hospital and everyone and the people Abazo through that with Bangland. But they told my mom, you know, then the problem, bah, my mom put a foot down, said, No, my son, Angege. Then he will live long apparently. No. For my son, because I want the person rather I face whatever consequences is in Zagalayo and get over it. You understand? Then good abaleg. You understand? So that my mom taught me that uh, whatever thing that I might come across, I need to man up and face it. You understand? No matter the outcome is good or bad, you know, I have to face it and get over it because it becomes easier to know the outcome of anything or if face out than not to know the outcome that it's going to leave a question mark, what could have happened, you know, if having a face seal at this thing. My mom cut it that way, cut it that way to say, no, my son is not, you know. I'm a male, I'm a male because... They know what it mean. Uh, I'm a lunatic on my own, so they cannot like disrespect my mom. You understand? And my mom is that is a is a, a respectful woman. You know, my mom again is as as like you know, she's those type of moms who are moms. Then um, a hospital uh, stayed for days and days and days. There was a time like, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I went to a, a coma a day or two, but uh, it was all well then. What happened then, immediately when they took me, I'm uh, stapless, you know, on my operation, when they took them out, immediately on that day, they had to take me to court. 
uh, uh, when they took me to court, they took me to police station and I was dressed in that gown. <laughs> so we went, but at least I, I got a, a, a pair of jeans and take his but on top his keeper some due to that the shooting. They had Mabeng operator. They just cut my branded t-shirt as and by cut available in the jacket. <laughs> they can strip me off. So they cut me and then we went to court, and then court, it was a remind, a remind to Sun City. We get to Sun City was, yeah, you know. So that time, Sun City, it was the time, Zabu Makumba Fire. I want to listen to Lesem Tetra, Utibakula, Gune, China, Gune, Korea, Gune, Japan, you know, that's crazy stuff. So, Sefiga Lapana, no Achuzi, Yabo, Minagan Jevele, inside and outside. Be, 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 be